friends, I have something I want to share with you. I'm dying. Dying to talk about today's topic. And to tell a good story, Disney knows you need to be able to get your audience's attention. And they do this using technology to create illusions, Michael. So, this is the magic trick, huh? Illusion, Michael. Mm. Trick is something a and these illusions help keep your attention because Disney knows once they've got your attention, you're paying attention to the story. Today I want to share with you eight different visual effects. As always, we'll start with the easiest concept and then work our way up to the most complicated, creating a foundational understanding so when we get to the more complicated ones, it's easier to follow. I am so excited to show up to talk about this today. Ricky here, let's go. Let's start with something very simple. Let's start with the mesh screen effect. This is something you'll see in a lot of Disney attractions and it's a basic foundation for which big ideas will grow from later on in today's video. Disney uses special mesh screens and projectors to create illusions. These screens display two images at once, one image on the main screen and another on a thin mesh in front or behind it, depending on the desired effect. The mesh has tiny holes that lets light pass through it. At times, nothing is projected on the mesh, making it appear transparent. But when an effect is projected on the space around the holes, it creates a stunning illusion. And now that we understand the mesh screen effect, let's add some technology and think about using water and fog and mist as our mesh screen. Disney uses enclosed projectors to cast vibrant shows like World of Color and Fantasmic onto curtains of water. Because the projector is enclosed, it can exist underwater during the day and then rise during showtime. Disney creates a smooth, see-through surface by pumping water with high-pressure pumps and fans. Behind this water screen, a specialized video projector faces the audience, hidden from their view while projecting an image on the backside of water, bringing the magic to life when the guests look through the water to see the illusion. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the term Pepper's Ghost. And most people think of Pepper's Ghost as a Haunted Mansion thing. And you're not wrong, but Pepper's Ghost is not only a Haunted Mansion thing, it's basically the foundational layer for all Disney illusions. But as we work our way through today's video, you'll just see Disney keeps using technology to up the Pepper's Ghost experience. The Pepper's Ghost illusion, famously used in attractions like Pinocchio and the Haunted Mansion, relies on a clever arrangement of glass and lighting. On Pinocchio, the blue fairy is hidden behind a wall that riders pass by. If you glance in the opposite direction, you might catch a glimpse of her before the light dims. While the blue fairy is illuminated, her reflection shines straight ahead on a sheet of glass in the show scene. In the Haunted Mansion's wedding scene, riders cross a bridge surrounded by a massive sheet of transparent glass. Above and below the riders, animatronics and mannequins perform their sequences with specialized lighting. These lights create reflections on the glass in front of the riders, conjuring the ghostly reflections that haunt the wedding scene. And now that you know how Pepper's ghost effect works, let's add in some technology to create an effect that Dr. Pepper never could have imagined back in the day. To create the illusion of a full-size hologram, a large one-way mirror is positioned at an angle. This ensures that the reflection of the wall behind the communication device is hidden from guests. Behind the one-way mirror is an OLED screen that displays Ray's video. OLED screens are ideal in this setup as they don't emit any standby glow when not in use. When Ray's transmission is received, the OLED screen turns on, and the light from the screen, directly pressed against the back of the mirror, can begin to shine through to display her message, which was filmed at an angle to create a convincing illusion from the guest's point of view. Once the transmission ends, the OLED screen turns off, and the mirror reflects the empty wall across from it once again. One of the things that makes Rise of the Resistance such a spectacular Disneyland attraction is its combination of technology. Walt Disney Imagineering really tried with this attraction to take different concepts and combine them. But let's look at the ray effect that we just broke down and now let's add some animation and movement to it and as well, a real prop. While being chased down a short hallway, a projection of Kylo Ren is displayed on a screen. 
This time, there are two major differences from earlier when Ray was projected. The first difference, this screen is moving down the hallway to create the effect of Kylo Ren pursuing you. Secondly, the lightsaber in his hand is a real prop attached to the moving screen, which adds a sense of realism and depth to the effect. To ensure that you cannot see too much of the magic, bright lights shine directly in your eyes, limiting your range of vision. Now let's combine the mesh technology with the reflections of Pepper's ghost, but also add in a projector to create shadows with the Musion effect. An advanced version of the Pepper's ghost effect is the Musion effect, which uses thin metalized film placed across the front of a stage at an angle of 45 degrees toward the audience. Recessed below the screen is a bright image supplied by an LED screen or powerful projector. This works just like Pepper's Ghost, but instead uses a hidden screen versus a reflection from a prop, removing the need for physical props and creating the ability to make high definition projections that feel real. But to up the realism, Disney has added an additional screen behind Peter Parker and is projecting a shadow, creating three levels of illusions. And in the holding cell with Kylo Ren, the shadow this time is being projected out at the audience, giving the prison bar's purpose to again add a third level of storytelling. As we keep adding technology to our illusions, we have to think about sight lines of the guests. What just worked for Kylo in the detention holding cell and Spider-Man in the pre-show isn't necessarily going to work if we are all moving and 16 different people are in 16 different positions moving in all types of different directions. Disney has again introduced another combination of effects, including the Musion effect we just saw with Peter Parker and Kylo Ren pre-shows to create our stormtroopers, but this time they've added a new effect called Persistence of Vision to create the laser blast. Here's how it works. While red blasters seem to just float through the air, in reality, two fans spin so fast on each side of the room that they disappear to the human eye, only leaving behind floating red lasers that are being illuminated on the fans in the form of a red LED light. Persistence of vision taps into how the human eye and brain function. We can only process about 10 to 12 separate images per second and hold on to an image for up to a 15th of a second. When a subsequent image replaces it within this brief time frame, it creates the illusion of continuity. Therefore, we only see the red laser blast shooting at us, but we cannot process the fan or all of the frames in between. This is easier to spot in the Halcyon with Yoda where the effect is in the middle of the room, not allowing Disney a universal controlled sight line for the guests. I'm sure by now you're excited to do a magic trick of your own, and how about this? Hit the subscribe button down below, and you'll see your own magic that starts when you begin on this journey with me, Hey Bricky. Now back to today's video. I hope you enjoyed this topic as much as I do. But probably my favorite use of this technology is in my favorite attraction, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, where LCD screens are used to make a transparent projection. But there's one problem. But if you know anything about printing or art, you can't project white. White isn't a color when it comes to printing or projecting. So therefore, the clear LCD system needs help. LCD system. That punk is playing in my house. It needs help by a second projector being added. This goes to show the foundational learning of these techniques and how they keep building and building and building, adding more technology to create newer and newer customer experiences. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway showcases some of the most lifelike cartoon characters we've ever seen in the real world. This realism is achieved through advanced layer and technology that creates depth in storytelling. As we embark on our adventure with Goofy as our conductor and Donald at the hot dog stand, you'll be struck by the vividness of each character against their backgrounds. The level of depth visible on both the video screen you're watching right now and even more so in the real world is truly impressive. Here's how it works. The backgrounds are created using a traditional video screen 
while the foreground characters are projected onto a clear LCD screen. Typically, these screens use a backlight blocked by crystals to create images. However, without the backlight, the screen becomes transparent. And to display colors, including black, another projector is placed behind the LCD screen to create a dynamic backlight. This projector shines a white silhouette onto the LCD screen, illuminating only where the character is animated. To ensure a seamless experience, Donald is enclosed to prevent any light leakage from the rear projector. On the other hand, goofy surroundings, such as his opening and closing doors and the ledge of the train body above him, catch some spill from the projection light, which is being used to bring the invisible LCD to animated life. And the results are the most realistic looking cartoons we've ever seen in the real world showing that video screens aren't a bad thing if they're used as one of your tools for creation and not a crutch to take shortcuts. I personally think screen technology can be great when used properly, just how Disney uses their control panels that are hidden all around the park that we can't see. Make sure you watch this video right here to discover that with me. Ricky here from the Edge of Toontown. Thank you so much for going on this adventure.